Welcome to what I think is the coolest place in the Air Force. Uh, I think for many of y'all you're going to find it's going to be probably the most challenging year in your Air Force career, uh, but certainly your most rewarding. Located on Edwards Air Force Base in the high desert of Southern California is the U.S. Air Force Test Pilot School. This is where the best and brightest aviators, engineers, and combat systems operators learn how to test and develop the aircraft and weapon systems of the future. I think it may be the most challenging program in the Air Force because it combines a full year of flight training, much like a student uh, would experience at undergraduate pilot training, uh, and we overlay on that a full year of academics that is uh, an accredited master's degree. Uh, in fact, that degree would often take 18 months at a civilian institution, uh, and we also have a, a defense uh, requirement for the students where they, they do a, a several months of, of, of a test project, and then they will defend that uh, to the staff. And again, that's an accredited degree. It's 13 courses uh, over the year. It's thousands of hours of academic uh, time with the students and so we take two very aggressive programs. Each would be a year long in its own right uh, and we combine those together to make the year at Test Pilot School. So it's a very busy, very challenging but also rewarding year for the students. Meet the class of 15 Alpha, all highly trained individuals who are now enduring what might be the most grueling and fast-paced year of their lives. On January 5, 2015, Captain Phil Woodhull was with his 15 Alpha classmates in the Scobie Auditorium for the first day of school, finding it almost surreal to finally be a student at TPS. Yeah, it was. Um, realizing you're sitting in the room where astronauts have been through or the famous test pilots of the last 70 years now have come through. And just realizing that you're about to start that same program. From day one, the pace was fast as the refresher courses began, including water survival and egress training. But soon the students entered the check flight phase of the curriculum and were teamed with instructor pilots to quickly learn how to fly unfamiliar aircraft. Well part of test pod school is starting to become comfortable being uncomfortable, if that makes any sense. And so what we you know over the course of the year you'll fly, it depends on the year, but you'll fly between 20 and 30 different types of airplanes. And so as part of that first initiation, we try to take you out of your comfort zone and put you in something that uh, you are not comfortable in. So an F-16 pilot may go fly a C-12. A uh, C-5 guy like myself would go fly a T-38. Um, if you fly F-18s, perhaps you'll go fly the F-16. Just something that you're not quite used to. Major Jack Trombetta is an experienced F-16 pilot. But now, as a TPS student, he no longer flies alone in a fast-moving jet, but instead finds himself learning to fly a C-12, a prop-driven aircraft that has a crew. Flying the C-12 was a huge change for me. So having that single seat mentality, you are used to doing everything by yourself uh, in the cockpit. So changing, changing radio frequencies, uh, moving all the throttle levers, flipping all the switches, that's all on you. There's nobody to help you out in that aircraft. Uh, the C-12 has a, has a crew concept. So uh, there there's actually roles and responsibilities. There's someone I have to talk to before I do a lot of the actions in the cockpit. That was a big, a steep learning curve for me. It was definitely something to get used to, to have that person there to work with as a team to get the job done, instead of just deciding on my own that I need to get this job done. So I, I think it's a really important tool to have because as a test pilot, we're expected to fly all different types of aircraft, uh, from, from fighters to heavies, and to gain that experience is something that I literally had really never done up to this point in my career was challenging, but also a lot of fun to do something completely different. While the pilots were expanding their horizons, so were their classmates, as the engineers and combat systems operators spent a few days at the Edwards Aero Club. Yeah, they put, put us in Cessnas and uh, they teach us the airmanship so that we can get a feel for the pace, a lot of the workload that the pilots are having to go through. It's not just a matter of, yeah, you, you move the stick around, you point the plane the right way. There's, that's about 20% mm, of the work, honestly. While you're, while you're moving the stick around, while you're flying, you've also got the checklist that you're running through at all times. And so, and then you're also watching out for other planes that the controllers may have missed. It's just, there's a lot of things that you got to keep track of. And then on top of that, flying a smooth airplane and making sure you don't crumple the gear when you hit the ground, so. What 
test pilots are physically doing is looking ahead at what we're going to need uh, and figuring out what that is, making sure it's going to work, and then getting it ready so that the operational pilot can do his job. And in a lot of cases, these guys are doing something that will not be actually fielded for, for years down the road. And, you know, those kids are sitting in basic, you know, basic math class right now and someday are going to be uh, flying the planes and using the systems that uh, the test pilots have. The TPS experience is something that I think anybody could go through if you really put your mind to applying. Test pilot school, the test community needs passion and intellectual curiosity. We, we love to see uh, engineers that, uh, that have that passion uh, apply for the program. I think a lot of people, a lot more people could apply and get into it. I've, I've talked to a bunch of people and they've always been like, kind of like I was at the beginning, TPS is just kind of that, that pie in the sky, that, that thing that you can apply for but you're probably not going to get accepted. It's, it's too exclusive. I don't think it is. Um, I think there's a lot of people who have the qualifications that could get in and get on this path if they wanted to. And I think it's something that they really should look at just because of the opportunity it gives. We will grow them and teach them uh, about the aircraft that uh, they, are, they are able to design. Uh, so we're looking for that, uh, that young engineer. Absolutely have a place for him in the test community. It's a fantastic year. It's a very challenging program. And really the things that we need are intellectual curiosity and a passion for developing next generation systems. That's something when I'm old and I, you know, I can say to my grandson who's, who's flying the newest aircraft, I worked on a, a portion of that. You know, a portion of that has, has my mark on it. I think that's really cool.